Yes, people, what's good? It's Flix back with another Premier League predictions week 18. Before I start today's Premier League predictions talk, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. I'll be very much appreciated. And make sure to have your say in the comments section and smash a like as well. I'd appreciate it. Let's crack on with the video. So week 18 and there's some tasty fixtures yet again this week as the uh, the Premier League is hotting up throughout the Christmas period. But before I start and crack on with my Premier League predictions, a couple of little topics. The first one, um, Tom Lockyer from uh, Luton. Um, two cardiac arrests now. It's not, not looking good. Not looking good. Um, for me, the guy's got to quit football. Full stop. Full stop. Um, very lucky to to have survived another cardiac arrest, honestly. It just, just goes to show you can be the fittest person in the world and and, and still still have these these horrible things happen to you. It's, it's, we will see what happens in it. We will see what happens, but um, it's not looking good for him. But Forest fans, Forest fans, honestly, Nuno... RX Tottenham manager and Wolves manager looks set to be taken over as Nottingham Forest boss. As uh, Forest have confirmed that Steve Cooper is uh, due to be sacked. Not looking good. Not looking good. Um, when you look at the football side of things of, of Forest and what Steve Cooper's done, he brought them up from the championship. He's he's built a squad. Uh, he brought some very good players into their standard. Uh, being one of our ex Tottenham boys, Serge Aurier. Um, Got a very good football squad there. Um, but to sack him and bring someone in like Nuno, honestly, honestly, it is actually uh, disrespectful to, to the Forest fans. Let's face it. Let's face it. Come on. To, to bring in someone like him. Um, but yeah, I'm sure he will make you proud. And I'm, I'm sure he will... Have them words ready, ready for you, Forest fans. I'm ready to make you proud because that's what he said to to, to us lot, Spurs family. That's what he said to us. I'm ready to make you proud and, and look, where he, look where he put us. It's just ridiculous, utter ridiculous, um, sacking him. But yes, it looks set to um, be your new manager, Nuno. So enjoy it, honestly. You're in for a bumpy ride, I'll tell you that one. So before I say my predictions for this coming coming weekend, uh, Man City, are they in a crisis? Honestly, please have your say in the comments section about that one because uh, they were beating Crystal Palace side 2-0. 2, -0. two -0, you're thinking, yeah, 2-0 up, comfortable. Um, Palace pulled it back 2-2. Two -two. Honestly, what is going on with Man City right now? What is going on? For me, for me, they they should have they should have kept hold of the likes of Mares, Carl Palmer, um, Gundogan. Yeah, they have got Kevin De Bruyne coming back, um, right, roughly next month. So I'm hearing uh, Haaland's out for how long? Who knows? And they got the Club World Cup coming up now. Um, so they they've, they've got some uh, fixtures, a lot of fixtures coming up. Um, uh, but it's it's not looking good, not looking good for Man City. Um, they've they've lost what three games already, three or four games now. Um, not looking good for them. But Palace done well. Palace done well. They've got Brighton this this Thursday. Um, Palace are at home for that one. Um, Villa as well. Aston Villa are on absolute. They they they're flying. They crazy, 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 crazy. But they've got a very poor Sheffield United. At Villa Friday night, um, Villa they they come from behind uh, last weekend to beat Brentford two one, um, two late goals but a win's a win. Honestly, they're up there. They they what a point two points behind uh, Arsenal sitting in second third right now. Um, Unai Emery's done a fantastic job for them. He's he's got he's got some classy players there. Um, Bailey Watkins, honestly decent. Um, 
but it's got them firing. But, you know, can, can they uh, keep that momentum and stay up there? We will see. In the other game last Sunday, uh, Liverpool, Man United, uh, Liverpool and, and Man United drew blanks. Uh, but as for Liverpool, being at Anfield, we all thought this was going to be a demolition, especially way for, for the way uh, Liverpool are playing compared to how Man United are playing. United have been so poor. Very, very poor. They had 30 plus shots against United Sunday, but to draw blanks and, and finish up nil nil, it's crazy. It's crazy. But they've got Arsenal coming up uh, Saturday, 5 30 again at Anfield. There's got to be goals in that one, surely. Has to be goals. I'll start with my scoreline prediction. Starting with Thursday, Crystal Palace, Brighton. I'm going to say Crystal Palace 1, Brighton 1. Then we move on to Friday, Aston Villa versus. A poor Sheffield United side. Let's face it, Sheffield United fans, it's not looking good. Uh, you've got Chris Wilder back for the second time now, is it? Please have your say in the comment section. Um, I might be wrong, might be three times you've had him now. But uh, still, it's it's not looking good. You know, you've got a very, very good Aston Villa side coming up against you at Villa. I'm going to say 3-0 Aston Villa. Then we move on to Saturday, 12.30 West Ham at home against a Poor, a very poor Man United side. I'm going to say 2-1 West Ham. Straight up. And then we've got Burnley versus uh, Fulham at Craven Cottage. Again, this is only one-way traffic for me. I'm going to say 3-1 Fulham. Um, Luton. Um, very good Luton side. Let, let's face it. They're, 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 they're fighting. They're up there. They're fighting. They're scoring the goals. They've showed it against Tottenham. They've showed it against Liverpool. Very unlucky against Arsenal. Uh, to lose in the dying, dying seconds uh, a few weeks back. But they're at home against Newcastle um, with Luton's first first uh, first uh, starter, uh, their, uh, their centre-back, Lockyer, is going to be missing. Um, but other than that, for me, I can only see one-way traffic in this one, Newcastle. I'm going to say 3-0 Newcastle. My team Spurs are at home at the lane against Everton. A very good Everton side. Let's face it. Come on, they, they will dock 10 points, but they're, they're still fighting. They're, they're winning. They're getting points. They're scoring goals. But um, Tottenham being at the lane, um, they should still get this job done. Three points for me. I'm going to say 2-1 Spurs. And then a, a very tasty game. Um Liverpool versus Arsenal at Anfield. There has to be goals in this one. There can't be another another draw, uh, draw of blanks, I should say. So for me, Liverpool two, Arsenal two. I'm going for. And then Sunday, Sunday we got a game. It's Christmas Eve, man. But this is a game. Wolves, Chelsea. For me, I'm gonna I'm gonna put Chelsea to edge this one at Wolves. I'm gonna say Wolves one. Chelsea 2. So there you have it there. My scoreline predictions. Have your say in the comments section, please. Um, what do you reckon the scores will be coming up? Uh, starting with Thursday's, Thursday's uh, game. So please have your say in the comments section. That's me done uh, for now until the new year. But please sub to the channel if you're new. Smash a like. And come on. Let's go.